Hi guys, my name's Ashley. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Um, today I am transforming my hair just a little bit. Um, this is the after, so like, stay tuned to see how we got to here. Hello. We're doing it. I'm going to dye my hair. Um, I think while I'm doing it, I'm going to talk you through my hair journey. Um, I can't even open the box. This is going to go really well, isn't it? Um, oh yeah, I thought I'd talk you through like my hair journey because I am on a journey. <laughs> um, when I was like, I want to say 14, I think I was 13 or 14, we bleached like the bottom half of my hair just to give it a bit more brightness because it started to go dark. No, it was the top half, top half of my hair because it started to go dark. Um, I've always been like sort of this colour as a kid right up until like, yeah, when I was 13 and it started to go darker. So I decided... No, I'm not having that. Um, I want to be blonde still, like I was when I was a kid, because that's, you know, how I felt. How do you open this? Jesus. I don't think that's worked. Oh no, it has. Okay. Since then, I've been bleaching it, covering the roots. Um, my roots are... They're not too bad at the moment. Um, but yeah, I've been bleaching it with, like, a Live XXL box bleach. Um, because that was just the easiest thing. It was already like pre-mixed. I didn't have to worry about mixing it wrong or anything like that. You just sort of, it's all measured out for you and stuff. Um, but I did use like the, the most blonde one every time. Um, and it killed my hair, which is completely understandable because it's probably the strongest like bleach. I don't know. I don't really know much about hair. I'm not gonna lie. But I have been watching more videos about like curly hair stuff. Um, and I shouldn't be dying it really if I want to look after it to be like curly, but I don't care. <laughs> I don't like the colour it is at the moment. My roots are coming through and it is day three here and it is just a big old mess. So I do need to brush it through and I hate brushing it through because it hurts, because it's curly hair and I don't have conditioner on it. I'm going to put some leave-in conditioner on it, I think. But I don't know how that's going to work with this. I don't want it to go weird it's also got like a lot of product in it already um should i wash my hair first should we read the instructions <laughs> it doesn't actually say if you should use it on like clean hair or not clean hair but i know i used to bleach my hair on like dirty hair because it's better for your scalp like i'm pretty sure that's true but I... we'll see <laughs> um i'm not bleaching it though this isn't bleach it's just color that goes on top should be okay just so like apply to the head so yeah um i'm actually going to change my top into something that i don't mind getting dye on um so i'll be back in two seconds okay i'm back i'm wearing a shitty t-shirt from a shitty band who were shit people so i don't mind getting shit on it i'm gonna brush my hair out now and cry because these these curls to be fair this is the only bit that curls nicely at the moment the rest of it on the first day it does and then after that it just doesn't but be prepared to see some major frizz because you know i've got curly hair <laughs> doing this as gently as possible and it still hurts and like i can just feel all the product mm. welcome to frizz town as i was saying i'm gonna move you around a bit so you're more in front of me that's a better angle um so, had my hair bleached, yeah, since I was like a teenager, I'm 25 now, so quite a while, um, at least 10 years, longer probably. Um, and uh, yeah, I've put pretty much every other colour on top of it. I've been pink, purple, blue, blue that faded to horrible green, I've been red, I was ginger for a bit. Um, I haven't got like brown or black because I am a very fair person so I know that won't look good on me at all. Um, the gloves are really annoying. I'm going to insert some pictures of like my different hair colours. Um, I don't know if to section it or not because I'm just doing it all one colour. I'm going to start like the part in that it sort of sits out all the time. Just give this another shape so it doesn't stick from it. And over the last like... 10 years or so I think I've been to a salon like 
maybe five times nowhere near enough <laughs> should be going like five times a year but you know um and like a couple of those times of when i've been to like the college to like help someone out get like a little bit of a haircut and have them dye it for me so they can like do it for their college work um we're just gonna go straight in on that so i haven't like cut professionally since before i moved here so like a year and a half it's probably been about two years since my last proper haircut um, and i've been doing it myself because well the last six months or so i've been doing like the ends a little bit um let's go do my fringe before i do anything else Um, and since it's curly, like, I don't know, I don't know anyone locally who, like, spe specialises in curly hair. Um, if anyone does specialise in curly hair, in Kent, please let me know. Um, because I'm really trying to look after my hair a bit more, even though I'm literally smothering it in dye right now, and where you can see the frizz. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm, like... I'm trying to look after it a bit more, I'm trying to keep it a bit more healthy, I'm using hair masks, I'm using leave-in conditioner, as you should with curly hair anyway, because this shit gets really dry. Um, sorry about how much I'm swearing in this video, I've said shit like 10 times already, but you know, just smother that shit in there. <laughs> so I've been dyeing it myself, and like cutting it myself, but as long as I can remember, that just drips straight onto my leg. It's not wasting any product there. Let's give that in there. <laughs> um, wow, I look strange. Um, I'm only doing like the really dark bits of my roots because there's like really dark bits, normal bits, and then like the light bits. But the last time I used this dye, um, it just sort of covered all of the lighter bits. And oh, it's gonna grow out anyway, and it will fade. So I don't really care about it showing really bad roots even though I'm doing the roots first I could probably just do all of it at once I've been following my own kind of kind of curly girl method like only using shampoo that's for curly hair only like using conditioner that's for curly hair or super moisturizing stuff um spending a lot of time in super drugs staring at the shelves because I'm not sure what to get and then not getting anything at all and leaving the shop empty-handed. That's the top half done. <laughs> well, it's like there anyway, it's like the back of my head. Now for the back. Should I section this bit? Work my way up. Should we do that? Will that work? I think that'll work better. Recap, so I've only, I've bleached it for 10 years. I've home coloured it for crazy colours. I haven't been to a salon, really like two years um i wash it shampoo it um and then i put like a deep conditioning hair mask on it for like 10 to 15 minutes when i do all my other shower bits i really don't care about the back being covered or not i'm gonna lie i started trying to grow my hair out around like the two year ago mark three year ago mark even um I actually found a photo from three years ago from my Instagram feed of me with my hair down, curly, and it just looks so short. I'm just going to start putting it on all my hair now and work my way up. Um, and it just looks so short and like the curls look awful because they're just not looked after. Like I even went through a phase of my life where my curls didn't look right when I put conditioner in because I used to like not wash conditioner out, but I wouldn't put any product in. And like you'd be left with that like horrible sticky tough like I didn't know what scrunching was. <laughs> um I always knew I had curly hair, but I didn't know how to look after it and I never thought to like Google it. So um I just never looked after my hair properly at all. Last time I dyed my hair this colour, well not this colour, a similar colour. I use a Giorgio on Berta, I think it's that one. The, like the one that's like oh powered by flowers um that one <laughs> um 
and it was like a ginger color like a light dark blonde light ginger kind of color and it just came out like such an ashy cool toned blonde i don't know if it's just because my hair was so bleached before that the color just didn't go on right at all and it was horrendous and it's kind of faded back out this one dying now because it's faded out i left it because i thought you know i don't want to dye it loads because my hair is super damaged and so i just left it and just dealt with it the fact that i didn't really like it and then quarantine happened anyway so i like i can't remember if i did it like the start of quarantine or if i was at work i don't know i fucking hated it anyway <laughs> um So I'm hoping this actually comes out the colour I want, which last time I used it, it did. It came out a really nice light ginger, strawberry blonde colour. Okay, now I look like some sort of alien. So I'm trying to find like a, a routine that works for me because I don't like spending half an hour washing and blow drying my hair. I would say half an hour. Half an hour just blow drying my hair really. Um, I might dry as naturally, it does take like quite a while because I've been putting more product in it in the bathroom. <gasps> Shit. None of it went on the carpet, it's fine. <laughs> I've got an old dressing gown on this uh, side as well, on the like bench I've sat on. Um, just in case I do spill any and it doesn't land in my legs or you know. I'm really concerned that I've missed a big patch in the back of my head, so I'm just gonna like hope for the best, you know? So I've been using the Naughty range. I was using uh, To The Rescue, like repairing one. Um, now I'm using Wave Hello, which I think is meant to be cold defining. I'll have a look on the bottle when I go to wash this out because I don't know what I'm talking about really. Um, most of that went down my leg again. I'm just gonna like fake tan my legs after this so that I'm the same orange as the hair dye because I know my legs are pretty much gonna be orange the amount that I've spilt in them so far. There's so much orange, oh my god. Right, so that's my whole head colour but I'm just gonna go over everything. Oh my god, it looks really dark. I'm sure it'll be fine. I might cut my hair after this, shall we? This is really hard. Oh, I just put my leg in more hair dye. Yeah, we got some more in the bottle, let's just smother her. I'm sure rub it in. I'm sorry if this is cringing everyone out. It's cringing me out. Um, fun. It's semi permanent hair dye at the end of the day. It's going to be fine. Is it semi or demi? I honestly don't know. It doesn't say on the box. It says like it lasts up to 28 shampoos, but it never lasted 28 shampoos when I used it because. I think there's something about the shampoo that I use that just doesn't um, doesn't protect colour. Oh, yeah, thanks. I'm trying to clip it up, but it's not working. Unless... If I had one of those like plastic things, a uh, shower cap, I'd put that on, but I don't. So, oh well. Yay! Right now it's time to tidy up because there's hair dye literally everywhere. Um, have I got some tissue? Yes, I do. It's all over my desk because I've splattered it everywhere because I've put it on so carelessly, but you know, I just don't care. <sighs> right, where were we about my hair journey? I've been trying to look after my hair. <laughs> I can't take myself seriously like this. I'm going to come back to you when this is done. Right, it's been on for about half an hour, so time to wash her off. She's looking quite ginger. So I'll see how it goes. Wish me luck. We're all washed out. Um, I did put some of my styling products in. I put some mousse in, some leave-in conditioner, which is the one. Um, I did use the conditioner that comes with it, although it probably isn't like curly gold. But I did use my conditioner afterwards. I used that and then washed it out and then used my conditioner to scrunch in um, because I feel like scrunching the conditioner in helps leave a bit in um, and my hair fucking needs it. So, you know, um, I'm going to touch up my makeup a little bit because some of it's come off. It's like pretty much all gone off my face. So. I'm gonna do that and I'll come back to you when I'm a bit more dry. <laughs> Hello there. Um, I love this colour. Welcome to my bathroom, by the way. You're like really carefully balanced on the toilet. <laughs> um, I love this colour, but the ends, like mostly this bit underneath, is just drying really frizzy. Like, 
and just not with much curl. So I'm gonna trim it, dampen it, put a little bit more product in, and we'll see how it dries. Um, the top half is still really wet for this, but it just dries really quick. I think it's just because it's so dead. Um, and I'm not gonna do this like that carefully either because, you know, um, I have three. Let's do. I'm kind of sectioning. Oh no, that needs to go as well. Right, let's do that. I'm just gonna grab some different hair clips. Okay, I've just clipped like the top half of this side up. I'm just gonna do the same this side. I'm basically just sort of tilting them, separating where I can. I don't wanna break up too much of the curl. Where's my hair clips? Two seconds. I'm back. Um, I've just got the bottom half down. Um, yeah, it's not drying like how it usually dries. It's really like, probably because I just killed it by spluttering and die. But I'm just gonna like chop the ends off and I thought I'd bring you along for the ride. Um, I'm not doing this sort of like very well either because I'm, I'm not very good at this. So, you know, here we are. Um, I'm not sure how much to take off. I don't wanna take too much off, but I think maybe just like, there. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, let's just... I've never done like a proper curly haircut. I always cut my hair when it's straight, never when it's curly. So this feels really strange, but you know. There goes the first bit. Oh, this is really short. That's way too short now. Oh no, I've made a mistake. Shit. Okay. Well, let's just throw that bit back and ignore it for now. Um, oh, these are my really short bits. There's bits at the back that are really short as well. And um, let's just take just like there. I think that's the same length as the other bit, actually. Um, I'm, saying, I'm trying to take it curl by curl. But because it's not curled very well, this is quite difficult. Uh, down here a bit more, let's go a bit lower because it's going to bounce up. Yeah, that's it. No, I don't know if these are two different curls. Yeah, I think it is. We're just going in there. Get rid of these ends. They're really dead. The thing is, I've been growing my hair for so long and like. It's just not healthy. That just that feels so much better than these like straggly ends. Yes. I'm happy again now, it's fine. <laughs> oh god. Now I need to even it out. That's this is gonna be a hard bit. I'm gonna redampen and like restyle it as well and see if I've made like a huge mistake or not. Uh we'll see. I'm just all butchering my way through it. <laughs> That's okay. That's fine. That's fine. Everything's fine. <sighs> okay, well, let's take down the top half. So I used to have layers like way back in the day because I haven't been to a professional for god knows how long. Oh, I got changed by the way. Um, Anyway, because I haven't been to like a professional for so long, I had layers, they've kind of grown out, but like, I don't know how to cut them back, like, not cut them back in, but like, oh, that looks so much better. Yes. Right, now these bits are a bit longer. Just here. Excuse me. Just here. Just like these two bits. I'm just going to take the very ends off, because they're only a bit longer. Let me just... I'm enjoying this now. I'm enjoying it a bit way too much. Okay. I don't think I'm going to cut that much more. There's some bits back here that are a bit struggling. Let's... Let's right. 
lovely. Let's um, gather up the, uh, the dead hair. <laughs> just gonna put that in the bin. I don't have one of those fancy spray bottles for water, so I'm literally just gonna wet my hands and like rub it in. Ooh, got an extra one there. Okay, that's kind of damp. We're running out of mousse, so I'm just gonna need a little bit. Um, just on the ends, I think. Mostly on these back bits. There's still definitely some like dry bits in here, by the way, but I'm focusing on the ends by now. <laughs> no, I'm just using a tea, uh, tea towel, tea shirt to uh, just scrunch out all the moisture I just put in. Oh, that looks so much better. It looks like it's going to dry better, but we'll see because it looked like it was going to dry okay earlier. Right, well, I guess I'm going to come back to you when it's like dried. I'm letting it air dry, so it's not going to be for a little while. Um, I'm just going to go and sit next to a window. Bye. I am so over the moon with how this has turned out. And like, I can't notice that much of the like difference because it was so dead from like here down anyway. And like, just, I'm so much happier. The colour is more me than the blonde. This is way more me. Like, this bit's way wavy, but like, We've got some carbs going on there. We've got some carbs over here. Yes. I'm just so much more happy. I might have some like tidy up to do. I think next time I'll wash it, I'll like have a good old look and maybe cut a little bit more off, but we'll see. And when I like straighten it, it's not going to be even at all because I cut it carb by carb, but I don't really care about that because I don't think I'm going to straighten it for a long old time. Um, but yeah, just wanted to, uh, finish up the video and say I am so happy I decided to do this and decided to spend my day doing this. Um, I hope you liked it, I hope you liked the video. Um, if you want to see more hair content from me please comment below and I will definitely do more. Um, I was thinking about doing like a my hair routine so I, I started talking about my routine but I never really finished it in the video. Um, if you want to see that please um, subscribe and leave me a comment um, letting me know that you do want to see that. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully I will see you in another one. Bye.